What do metals and gourds have in common? Why did a Japanese aristocrat from a wealthy, influential family work as a simple mechanic earning 45 cents a day? How did Datsun become Datsun with a little U? This is the history of Nissan. It's the year 1908. The company General Motors is setting up. It's also a year when a great idea is born. An unknown person comes up with a fantastic idea that will change his life forever. Looking at the auto industry in the United States of America, he sees it as something with limitless potential. This potential is unknown in his homeland, Japan. So he decides to return to Japan. He's determined to start manufacturing flexible joints using an iron forging technology he learned while in the United States. Unlike the United States, the automobile industry is still in its early stages in the land of the rising sun, Japan. However, this doesn't stop him from wanting to make cars. All he has to do is be patient and wait for the right moment. This man is Yoshisuke Ahikawa. He will become the founder of Nissan Motors and one of the greatest businessmen in Japan. It's on November 6, 1880 in Oochi Village, now known as Yamaguchi City. Yoshisuke Aikawa is born. He grows up as a real blue blood with a father who is a local lord and a grand uncle who has a key position in the government. However, Aikawa doesn't want to become a politician or a businessman. Aikawa can choose any profession he wants because of his family's powerful business influence. But as he studies in grad school, he works as a mechanic, earning only 45 pennies a day. He keeps this a secret from everyone and doesn't reveal his family ties or his education to anyone. His later reluctance to having a protege in production comes from several incidents in early life. Once, when he came to his grandfather, a famous politician, to get help on a matter, he sees a crowd of businessmen surrounding his grandfather trying to make business deals in exchange for promotion of their businesses. Aikawa gets disgusted by the business world, and then he vows never to become a businessman. Secondly, while studying at university, he becomes very ill. After a while, he recovers and realizes that he wants a meaningful career that will give him a purpose in life. He has a strong will and disciplined lifestyle, even wearing short cropped hair similar to a samurai, but without a sword. All of this leads him to start working in manufacturing and production. Ultimately, his hands-on experience in manufacturing will contribute to Nissan's success. Now he makes the decision to move from Japan to the United States. When he gets to the U.S., he gets a job as a mechanic in an iron plant owned by the Gould Coupler Company. He works there for a year studying the technology used and the different methods of production. He learns that Japanese cast metal is hard but breaks easily. Aikawa thinks the Japanese industry really needs the ability to produce cheap ductile iron. So he crosses the Pacific Ocean and returns to Japan. He now has the technology to shape cast iron into complex shapes and produces iron that is much stronger than before in Japan. A brilliant idea comes to mind. He's going to produce cars. It's 1910. He's back in Japan. He sets up an iron casting firm called Tobata Imono. His products become known as Hyotan, which is two-way type of a gourd. Because the joint surfaces are flat like the plant, the products soon become high in demand. Tobata Imono begins producing ductile iron castings using the industry's first electric furnace. The company will eventually become the predecessor of today's Hitachi Metals. Throughout the years, Aikawa establishes many companies and acquires others. People in the industry and society view him as a dynamic young businessman. He gains a good reputation. It's 1928. Yoshisuke Aikawa is asked to lead the restructuring of the Kuhara Kohigo firm. One of the steps for the company is to choose a new name. Since this company belongs to shareholders from all over Japan, Aikawa believes the name should reflect the entire Japanese society's interests and well-being. So he renames the company Nihon Sengio, which translates into the words Japan and industry. His belief makes the company stand out more. 
Nissan, compared to other firms that carry family names. The words Nihon and Sengio will later combine to become Nissan. This will be a historic moment, especially the beginning of Nissan, but the name Nissan won't be used until later in the future. Aikawa masterfully restructures and merges several companies under the roof of Nihon Sengio. This includes Nihon Kogio, now known as Hitachi Chemicals, Nihon Life Insurance, and other companies. This merger is a critical moment in the Japanese business world because it gives rise to a new star. But this is the beginning and long before Nissan becomes what it is today. Aikawa still has a long way to go. Before the merger, the firms that would become part of the brand are already producing vehicles. For example, Jitsuo Jidosa Company, Limited in Osaka was making a vehicle called the Gorham. It is named after its designer and American engineer William R. Gorham. It has three wheels, seven horsepower engine, two seats, one in front of the other, and the steering handle resembles the steering wheel of a motorboat. In Tokyo, Kwaisinsha Jidosha Koio, or Kwaisinsha Motor Company Car Work Company, is led by Masujiro Hashimoto. The company makes an open top four wheel passenger car. They name the car DAP from the capital letters of the company's three investors. Kenjiro Dena, Rokiro Aoyama, and Meitaro Kakeuchi. In Japanese, the sound dot is similar to the word fast or agile, relating to the speed of a rabbit running. Later in the future, this rabbit will be revealed on the hoods of the company's car. The year is now 1928. The two firms merged to form the Dachi Dosha Seizo Company. Four years later, it's 1930. The company develops the first truly mainstream Japanese mini car called the Datsun. This little car boasts the 495 cc gasoline engine with 10 horsepower in a small frame. But why 495 cc's? In the 1930s, the Japanese government deems cars with an engine capacity of less than 500 cc to be legal for driving without a driver's license. So to occupy the new market segment, the company develops a series of machines with an engine displacement of 495 cc's. The name Datsun literally means son of Dot. It indicates that a smaller size car compared to the previous model. It's the 1930s and Japan hardly has paved roads. If you found one, you're lucky. Most streets are covered with sand and pebbles. Many cities haven't yet improved their infrastructure like other modern cities in the world. Yet, in that type of road condition, surprisingly, the Datsun car can drive from Osaka to Tokyo, almost 310 miles, without a problem. At that time, traveling that distance in America is nothing if you had a Ford or GM car. But a miniature Japanese car to travel that distance on Japanese roads is actually an unprecedented achievement. That tiny car is the Datsun with the letter O, which becomes the predecessor of Datsun with the letter U. Unfortunately, the Datsun car production cost technique requires a massive amount of money, which the company doesn't have. By August 1931, the Tobata Kimono Company, led by Aikawa, saves the day by buying the Datsun Company. Aikawa's dream of car manufacturing finally can come true. The next year, it's March 1932. Aikawa is planning to open a Datsun sales office in Tokyo, but all sales offices are set up, get washed away by a flood. Some people start saying that the word sun in the name Datsun is similar to another Japanese word which means loss or damage. Due to negative comments, Aikawa aims to avoid losing potential customers by changing the brand name to Datsun with the letter U. This new spelling changes the fanatics to one associated with the rising sun, and it will continue to be used until the year 1984. That's how the Datsun Sun brand name gets created. It's summer of 1981. The company decides to remove the Datsun name to strengthen the Nissan brand and boost Nissan sales in the U.S. stock market. The Nissan brand is unknown in the United States, while Toyota or Honda are popular known brands among Americans. So they hope to increase their brand awareness and popularity too. The renaming campaign lasts for three years, 1982 to 1984. This campaign cost about $500 million. The operating expenses, including changing the badges at 1,100 Datsun dealership locations, is approximately $30 million. Then they spend another $200 million from 82 to 86 on ad campaigns. The slogan for the ad is, We are driven by Datsun, and it gives away the slogan, The name is Nissan. The company then spends $50 million more on Datsun ads, which are then paid for 
but never used much afterward. Yet after all of this, five years later, the Datsun brand is still more familiar to consumers than Nissan. What's in the name? Well, maybe more than what you think. It's December 26, 1933. Back to the past. It's a landmark day in Aikawa's life. He realizes he has achieved the dream. He has accomplished many things in his lifetime. He had organized the founding of Jidosha Seizo in Yokohama, which consists of two of his companies. One company is Nihon Sengio, which is worth 6 million yen. The other is Tobata Emono, which is worth 4 million yen. These results in an initial worth of 10 million yen, which is a lot at the time. It's May 30th, 1934. The shareholders meet and rename the Jidosha Seizo Company to Nissan Motor Company. On that day, the iconic name gets introduced and it would become well known all over the world. 